Who is Venus and Sagittarius compatible with? Every planet has zodiac signs it is more and less comfortable in. Another important thing to look at is the sign the planet Venus was in on the day you were born, as Venus is associated with what a person values. Both love and money matters are therefore affected by Venus. If you have Venus in Sagittarius, your best compatibility matches are partners who have Venus in Libra or Venus in Aquarius. Looking at the characteristics of the sign of Sagittarius reveals additional possibilities. Let's talk about the Sagittarius basics. Remember that each zodiac sign is associated with a season, a mode, is it in the beginning, middle, or end of a season, and an element. Each zodiac sign is also ruled by at least one planet or luminary. Sagittarius season is fall, with mutable mode which is the end sign in its season. Sagittarius is a fire element, and being ruled by the planet Jupiter. Let's move on with the Venus basics. Venus stays within two signs of the Sun in terms of relative position to Earth. That means people who have Venus in Sagittarius can have the Sun in only the following signs, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, or Aquarius. Since we are done with Sagittarius and Venus basics, let's move on to the first best match and that is Venus in Sagittarius with partners Venus in Libra or Aquarius. Libra and Aquarius are the air signs closest to fire sign Sagittarius. The four elements, fire, earth, air, and water, typically break down into two groups of two, fire and air, and earth and water. Older astrology texts often refer to fire and air signs as masculine and water and earth signs as feminine. In today's world where people of all genders are able to express a broader variety of roles and traits, perhaps a better way to understand the difference between the two groups of signs is to look at their focus. Water and earth signs tend to be interested in security and in maintaining the structure that exists. This can include the domestic stay-at-home parent, but it can also include the sort of person who looks for a job that is stable and guaranteed. No matter what happens in the world, industries like education, healthcare, food, and banking aren't going anywhere. Those lines of work are therefore full of earth and water sign people of all genders. Fire and air signs are interested in innovating and exploring. Even if they are found in stable industries, they find the wilder parts of those industries. While an earth or water sign person might be happy with a financial job that involves managing conservative investments for retired people, a fire or air sign person might get curious about the riskier side of the financial industry like options trading. Similarly, the fire or air sign worker in the healthcare industry might gravitate toward experimental therapies. As in the theory underlying Chinese medicine, there's yang within the yin. The theory of yin and yang, as described by the traditional Chinese Medicine World Foundation, works well for understanding the difference between the fire and air signs and the earth and water signs. Yang is the outwardly focused energy of fire and air signs, and yin is the inwardly focused energy of earth and water signs. While earth and water signs are both focused on security, they put different spins on it. Venus in Sagittarius and Venus in Libra share a concern for appearances. Venus in Cancer appreciates Venus in Virgo's attention to detail, which others might overlook. Venus in Libra is used to thinking that decorum and honesty are mutually exclusive, and Venus in Libra is used to picking decorum. The example of Venus in Sagittarius could therefore be liberating for Venus in Libra. Venus in Sagittarius could also learn a few things from Venus in Libra regarding tact. Venus in Sagittarius and Venus in Libra both enjoy socializing and could throw excellent parties together. Though Venus in Libra can sometimes become overly focused on a partner to the point of neglecting others in their life, Venus in Sagittarius will push back on this and insist that the two of them maintain more independence from each other. Venus in Aquarius, on the other hand, will give Venus in Sagittarius plenty of space. These two have in common that they are very independent. Venus in Sagittarius still has some concern for social propriety, but Venus in Aquarius really doesn't. Venus in Aquarius, therefore, might come up with a plan like a couple celebrating Christmas separately, so they can each do it exactly how they want in terms of which relatives to visit.
No one other than Venus in Sagittarius would ever be capable of telling Venus in Aquarius when Venus in Aquarius has gone off the rails. Part of it is that Venus in Sagittarius can just be blunt without fully realizing it, but Venus in Aquarius also does understand that Venus in Sagittarius is a fellow lover of freedom and would not push back unless it were truly necessary. Before we proceed with the following best matches, please don't forget to hit the like button. The second best match is Venus in Sagittarius, with partners Venus in fire signs. The three fire signs are Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Fire signs tend to go out and make things happen. Venus in Aries and Venus in Sagittarius have in common that they are both athletic. In Venus terms, they value their physical bodies. These two would enjoy sports or outdoor activities together. The physical side of their love life would be strong too. With Venus in Aries being impulsive and Venus in Sagittarius being blunt, there would rarely be a quiet moment. Venus in Leo is not as athletic as Venus in Sagittarius, but Venus in Leo is caught up enough in the enthusiastic attitude of Venus in Sagittarius to try to keep up. These two would be more suited to throwing fun parties together. Venus in Sagittarius can be more polished than Venus in Leo, Leo symbol, the lion, is a wild animal, after all, but Venus in Leo's genuine joy makes up for Venus in Leo's roughness. Two Venus and Sagittarius people would get to experience the full variety of what their Venus sign has to offer. They would mutually enjoy discussing intellectual matters at length, as well as traveling and being physically active together. They would also have a sense of when to give each other alone time to recharge. We have reached the third and the last best match, which is Venus and Virgo with partners Venus in other mutable signs. The other mutable signs besides Sagittarius are Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces. All four mutable signs live on the transition from one season to another, in terms of what time of year the sun goes through them. Venus doesn't move from sign to sign at exactly the reliable times that the sun does, but Venus travels no more than two signs away from the sun at any given time. Virgo, going from the abundance of summer into the scarcity of fall, takes its transition the hardest out of all the mutable signs. The resulting bleak mindset of Venus in Virgo would tend to clash with the joyful vibe of Venus in Sagittarius. Even though Sagittarius represents the transition from fall into winter, Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter and generally coincides with holiday party season when the sun goes through it every year. Gemini is the opposite sign from Sagittarius, so Venus in Gemini and Venus in Sagittarius have a lot in common. Gemini is also an air sign, so a Venus in Gemini partner would have many of the same advantages for Venus in Sagittarius as a partner with Venus in Libra or Aquarius. However, Sagittarius tends to act like an older Gemini, so there would be a power differential in the relationship with Venus in Sagittarius always the teacher and Venus in Gemini always the student. Venus in Pisces and Venus in Sagittarius share a sense of passion and drama. Both are curious about life's big questions and enjoy going on adventures. Venus in Pisces, always wanting to be kind, might get triggered by the bluntness of Venus in Sagittarius, but might also sense the underlying good intentions. Since we are done with the best matches, let's talk about the rest of the signs. The signs that have not been covered yet are Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, and Capricorn. Taurus and Capricorn are Earth signs, and Cancer and Scorpio are water signs. Scorpio and Capricorn are the signs on either side of Sagittarius. As noted previously, Venus can be no more than two signs apart from the Sun. There are therefore many Venus and Sagittarius people with the Sun in Scorpio or Capricorn. There are also many people with Venus in Scorpio or Capricorn who have the Sun in Sagittarius. If at least one of these situations applies to a couple where one has Venus in Sagittarius and the other has Venus in Scorpio or Capricorn, incompatibility is not a huge concern. Overall, though, neither Venus in Scorpio nor Venus in Capricorn is as party-hardy as Venus in Sagittarius. Venus in Sagittarius does not mesh well with the focus on security shared by both Venus in Cancer and Venus in Taurus. The blunt honesty of Venus in Sagittarius can also be too much for Venus in Cancer's sensitive nature. 
Venus in Taurus can shake off the bluntness of Venus in Sagittarius more easily, and Venus in Taurus might even share the tendency of Venus in Sagittarius toward big spending. Venus in Taurus likes comfort and the familiar, though, so Venus in Taurus might get annoyed with Venus in Sagittarius for always wanting to explore beyond that. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.